My name is Blake Bowden. I'm nine years old. I live in Athens, Texas. I have three jacks of taxi. I, it makes my bones weak and my muscles and I can't walk very well. When we first found out about Friedrich's ataxia, I searched and searched, I got online, I started looking at everything I could, and it was overwhelming to me because I felt like my days were consumed with trying to find something, trying to find anything that would help him. And it's, it's a 24 hour a day, 365 day a year thing. One of the things that MDA did for me was when I went to sleep at night, I could sleep because I knew during those hours there was still somebody searching for a cure and you know a treatment a cure or something we just desperately need something um, there's just these these incredible children who are we're losing because we we can't get them well it's very overwhelming when you have a disease like this that not very many people know about uh, no one really knows how to help you Everybody wants to, but they don't know what to say and they don't know what to do. Um, three years ago, we were given a, di a prognosis for Blake, and our prognosis was that he might live to be 10 years old. Um, for me and my family, that was unacceptable, and we started searching high and low for answers, for help, for anything that we could that would, that would better Blake's life and um, MDA is, is one, of the, one of the things that we found. And it's been uh, a very supportive system for us. They have uh, not only been supportive uh, financially in the way that of uh, sending Blake to camp, um, but also helping us with, with things. For instance, if we needed to um, um, grow his wheelchair, if we needed to do new arms, or we needed to do whatever, they've helped us with that is a huge issue for us because Blake can't go to other camps and this is one that he can go to and he loves it. It's the only camp he knows and we would not want him to, we would never want him not to be able to go and we look forward to it. In fact, last year when he came home, I picked him up at the bus and he said, 354 days till I get to go back. He was so excited and um, we talk about it all year and he fondly uh, speaks of his counselors. Uh, Holly, Molly, and Linda, that are, are his three counselors because we talk about them all the time. And um, they, they're just wonderful. So I'm so appreciative of those people who I never even get to meet. But I entrust my child to them and um, I'm just so appreciative of everything that they do. It's very important that any, anything that can be donated is appreciative. It all adds up so quickly. Um, the smallest amount adds up. And our children are, are going to benefit. I hope you understand from what we have, what we've talked about here today is that the funds go so many different areas, but not only to the research, but the camp, and it, it really does help these children. And there's, with 42 different diseases under this umbrella that MDA covers, there are tons and tons of children that um that need us they need us to do this and i hope that you know you're watching the telephone today and i hope that um that something here has touched you and you understand the importance of this and we appreciate every one of you we appreciate everything you do the support that you give in any way is is appreciated um, so thank you thank you so much